Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your computer is stuck on cleaning up screen while installing Windows Update. Now, there might be an instance where you're installing an update on your computer and you're install and you're stuck on the screen which says cleaning up 100% complete. Do not turn off your computer. Now, there are a couple of ways to get this issue resolved. Now, the first thing what I would suggest you to do is if the message appears on the screen, usually it indicates that your system is completing the installation of updates. And I suggest you waiting for another hour to see if there is any progress. If there is no progress, please try pressing the power button for about 5 to 10 seconds to perform a hard shutdown. Wait for a 1 or 2 minutes and then boot up your computer and normally and check if the issue has been resolved. So on an ideal state, your issue has been resolved. Now, in spite of this, once you restart your computer, then try to install the updates and see if there is any available updates. And while you're installing the updates and if you still see the error message, there are a couple of steps which you could try. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to try is to do a startup repair so once your computer is started you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you may go ahead and click on windows update and from here you can go to the advanced option and then click on recovery under recovery you may go ahead and click on advanced startup and then click on restart now once you click on restart now you will get a couple of options like advanced option under advanced option choose the option which says startup repair and wait for your computer Computer to start repairing and uh, complete the repair once this is done your computer will restart back to your desktop and then you may try to go and install the updates and check if your issue has been resolved so most of the time the issue would be resolved now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved now the first thing what I would suggest you to do is to open the PowerShell on your computer so in the search window, you may go ahead and type PowerShell. You would see a option for Windows PowerShell. So do a right click on PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now this should open the Windows PowerShell on your computer. Now once you're on this window, you will have to go ahead and type the command which says sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter. So what this will do is this will go ahead and run a system scan on your computer. See if there are any error message related to your hard disk. So wait until the system scan is completed. Once this is done, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now if you see this message, try running the system scan multiple times about one or two and see if the issue has been resolved now in spite of trying running a system scan multiple times and if you're still facing a problem there are a couple of other steps which you could try uh, what i would suggest you is to try running a dism tool on your computer to do this you will have to open powershell by clicking or by typing powershell in the search window do a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you're on the powershell screen you will have to go ahead and run a command to check or scan for the errors i will mention the command in the video description you can do a right click on the powershell and that should automatically paste the command or you can type the command manually that is dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup image space forward slash check health and hit enter so this will go ahead and check if there are any um, issues related to your uh, hard disk or a hard drive once this is done you will have to go ahead and run the another command to fix the error message which i will also mention that command in the video description you can copy it and do a right click on the powershell and that should automatically paste the command and hit enter once this is done your deployment image servicing and management tool will execute and start repairing any error message which are there with your hard drive once the repair is complete once the errors are completely fixed you may close this window and uh, restart your computer that should definitely fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day